Hello friends, welcome to your channel yours truly. Please do like, subscribe and press the bell icon for recent updates. In this video, we are going to talk about styling buttons in Android using the style attribute and in just a single line of code. Let's begin by creating a new Android project, naming it styling buttons. Click next. Minimum API level to be 21. Next. And with an empty activity as always. Click on finish. Now going to our activity main.xml file and just changing this uh, root layout to be a linear layout linear layout with an orientation of vertical orientation to be vertical removing this text view and adding in four buttons button wrap content wrap content and its text to be something like the first one should be default copying and pasting it three times more to get our three more buttons and text of second button to be colored third to be borderless and fourth to be borderless and colored a simple way to give it a style is like uh, this adding in a style attribute with the widget widget dot app compact dot button dot uh, colored this will give it a colored button again using the same style with a different attribute it should be borderless it, it, it's here widget dot amp compact dot button dot borderless and for the fourth button we give it a style like uh, widget dot app compact dot button dot borderless colored if you are wondering where this color comes from, it comes from the color accent of your application which resides here in the values, styles, the color accent is this color accent and if you are wondering where this color comes from, this color comes from the here. If you change it like uh, to reddish orange like uh, FF4500 for the hex code of reddish orange and if you go back to your activity main and if you preview it it's going to be colored like the color accent of your application now quickly running our app just to show you that all these buttons all these buttons have a ripple background included with them so no need to apply a ripple effect using the foreground layer or the background layer it's just here by default so if you click on default you see the ripple effect is there if you click on colored button again the ripple effect is there for the borderless the color ripple effect is there and for the borderless color the ripple is also there so it's a very easy way of styling buttons using a single line of code and that's it that's it for now thank you